Hi, in this video we are going to look how to schedule queries in BigQuery. Uh, this is a serverless environment where you can schedule your query and uh, populate the data from the query into your destination table. So let's get started. Before we get started, uh, let's remember a few basic points about scheduling. Uh, so the query must be in standard sql legacy sql is not supported uh, the query can be ddl or dml um, we do need ddl uh, because sometimes uh, we do um, need to create monthly tables for our data like summary monthly summary tables um, and then we schedule a job that will just create the table so that uh, rest of the jobs that populate the data need not worry about whether the table is not there uh, or it is there. Uh, so the second point is uh, the API permission needed in the project is uh, BigQuery Data Transfer Service uh, that should be enabled. Uh, and the third one is the user who is trying to schedule the query must also have BigQuery Transfers Update and BigQuery Dataset Update. Uh, one tip here is uh, it is better to use service account uh, for scheduled queries so that you can track the billing uh, at the service account level. Okay, uh, But this option is still not enabled for all users. Uh, so um, let's wait to see how it uh, pans out. And then lastly, for each of the scheduled queries, a processing location must be selected. Okay, Now let's get started with the demo. Okay, uh, so I am using the new version of the BigQuery console uh, and then as I mentioned in the steps, um, the first step is to enable the API. So let's go here uh, and select the APIs and services. Okay, uh, then it will show the list of APIs enabled for this project. Uh, and in that we need to make sure this BigQuery data transfer API is enabled okay um, so this uh, should be enabled so if it is not you can search for it and and enable it okay okay uh, now moving back to the uh, bigquery uh, so let's move back to bigquery and then start scheduling some demos so the demo data set that i'm going to use uh, is chicago taxi okay uh, trips so i'm going to use this okay and uh, let's look at the data okay um so it has a unique key some taxi id start time of the trip end time of the trip and few columns okay uh, and and this and again i want to give a caution mm. this table has 68 gb worth of data and 188 million rows okay so this is the demo table which we will be using uh, to schedule some queries and populate the data from this table into um, some destination tables. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, uh, this is the query. Uh, it's a very simple query uh, where uh, um, it it checks how many trips were made on a particular day, uh, and this where condition says uh, uh, it takes a current date and subtracts an year. Uh, and says how many trips were made um, last year same day okay and that's all it is and then this query is in standard sql syntax and uh, it uses 1.4 gb mm, and if you look carefully mm, i use only one column okay, uh, from the table mm, so but it uses 1.4 gb uh, of data okay so the reason is timestamp is very very unique uh, uh, it's at the lowest level of the time tracks time at the lowest level so that's why you have too many variations in the table so let's go ahead and run it mm, and then um, it should show for uh, 2018th number the number of trips started were 52913 okay so this is the query we are starting
okay um, now um, the use case scenario we are assuming is we are going to schedule this query every day uh, so that when it runs it picks up the count of the trips for the same day from the last year and puts it into a destination table okay uh, so that's the use case we are assuming uh, so let's go ahead and click schedule so now click on the schedule query and then let's give uh, some name uh, previous year count uh, daily um, schedule uh, this and then let's change the time uh, to let's say 20 am so that it runs even today and then click on set date don't close this uh, just like that so you click on this only then the time is chosen um, and then let the table name can be uh, underscore summary underscore previous yeah. Yeah. and then i'm choosing append to table so that way every day when it runs it opens the data um, ideally i would do it for current year but the current year data is not up to date in bigquery for this data set um, and then um, you can also receive notifications if the job fails okay uh, if you are the owner mm. and um, you can also publish this job details to pubsub so that any dependent processes uh, can run once this query is uh, executed and again for your enterprise architecture to be even driven you have to use uh, messaging system like pubsub uh, to make everything run real time rather than everything being scheduled uh, like a legacy model okay um so uh, this is what it is okay so we have uh, done everything so this is now scheduled you can see uh, the schedule name that we gave and it has a schedule icon and it says uh, scheduled to run every day at 150 utc time okay uh, am uh, and then uh, this is the one so it we scheduled it at 720 now it's 721 so let's go to the scheduled queries and see if it ran and the history is there so uh, we are here um, just wait okay uh, the next one is uh, number 27 720 so let's click here and see what is shown in the query mm. okay so on run day okay got it okay and then in the configuration uh, this is where you can see the query the destination table preference and partitioning if needed and other things and it also shows uh, uh, other details when it's scheduled and other things okay uh, so the start date is this. so let's go ahead and uh, see if, if it really ran okay it did not run okay so the first run um we need to do manual run and do a backfill okay so the way we do a backfill is go to the schedule queries okay hmm. and then let's see okay so let's click on this and then in the top under more option you will have something called schedule backfill so click on this and say the start date is today's date okay and uh, the, the the date i will explain what this is okay uh, and then uh, inclusive and then let's say this and click on okay uh, so and let's wait for a few seconds and see what happens okay okay hmm. so you can see here the run date is uh, specifies the data of the day uh, date of the data okay so we are look, uh, trying to populate the trips for november 26 2018 okay uh, so that's the thing uh, but we are running it today our query uses previous year data but we are running it for today and the transfer as run is in progress if you click on big query you can come here and then you can see the job is running and once it finishes you should be able to see a table here under this data set let's wait for a few seconds okay uh, the query finished okay so let's see this and then we have this table uh, and then if you look here uh, you can see the trip date and the summary count okay so this is the first use case
and that ends the demo for this uh, video. Uh, so the next video will be uh, on BigQuery scheduling where we pass uh, uh, the table name uh, to be dynamic uh, based on a time frame uh, for both uh, within the query and also the destination table name uh, and also passing some parameters. So we will discuss that in the next video. And uh, thanks for your time and these are my social channels and websites through which you can reach me. Thank you.